Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I'm using the Spacious Tarot. And before I start the reading, I just want to remind you that I'm offering my four-week tarot course on reading tarot for others. And it starts on May 6th, but registration closes on May 4th. And uh, I'm really excited to teach this class. This will be the third time I've run this course. I'm super excited to do it again. If you're interested in checking out my course, I'm going to put the link in the description box below this video. So let's begin with the first card. The first card represents Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And my intention with this reading is just to get kind of an overview of the energies and the opportunities that are going to be available to us this week. Okay. So we have the Elder of Swords. Now the Elder is, um, they've renamed the, the court cards in this deck. So Elder would be King. So also known as King of Swords. So there's this Elder of Swords or King of Swords energy at the beginning of the week. Now the Suit of Swords is all about the mind, the mental aspect of life, your thoughts, the way that you focus your mind, what you focus on, basically how you utilize your mind or not utilize your mind in your day-to-day -day life. And the king or the elder of swords is very wise because he's learned how to, how to best utilize his mind. He knows how to direct his mental focus. He knows what kinds of thoughts to focus on, what kind of thoughts to let go of. Uh, and he's very rational. He's very organized and um, can look at things through a rational, intellectual lens. So the advice or the, the opportunity that I see with this card, I think that the beginning of the week is really a time to tap into your inner wisdom and especially where your mind, your mental focus and your thoughts are concerned. So ask yourself, you know, if you, if you notice yourself going into a negative thought spiral or thinking really stressful thoughts, or if you feel like you're just totally unfocused mentally, ask yourself, what would the King of Swords or the Elder of Swords do in this situation? Um, you know, how can I, how can I better get focus? How can I, how can I focus my mind more? Um, or how can I bring my attention towards the more empowering, helpful thoughts and not give the negative thoughts so much attention? Um, this is really about, it's not just about positive thinking. It's about wisdom. It's about being conservative with the way that you use your mind. So not wasting a whole bunch of mental energy on something that really isn't important. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next card. Oh, another thing I want to say, I feel like there's this theme of flight in this card and taking flight. And I'm going to come back to that later. So let's look at the next card. This next card is, whoops. This next card is for um, the middle of the week. So kind of like Wednesday, Thursday ish. And here we have nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is a card of luxury and cultivation. So if you look at the shrub in this card, this is a, a, a shrub that's been very, uh, cultivated. It's been pruned. It's been looked after. It's not wild. And I feel like it represents our ability to cultivate our own lives in a certain way. And I often think of the nine of pentacles as being about, um, well, luxury, but rest and relaxation and being able to fully appreciate the good things in life and the things that we've been able to manifest for ourselves or create for ourselves. Um, so what does it mean for us midweek? What does this mean? Huh. I feel like um, there's two messages here. Number one is focus this week on cultivating what you want more of in your life. 
So say you want more, uh, I'm just trying to think, what do I want more of in my life? I want to be more creative and I want to spend more time painting because that's been something that's been on my to-do list for a long time and I always manage to put everything else ahead of that and so I haven't been doing much painting or art at all. So so think of what you what you're wanting to do more of or what you're wanting to bring more, you know, what is it that you want to bring into your life and how can you cultivate that? How can you how can you make it happen this week? What behaviors, what habits are going to help you do that? Um and then the other message with this card is about it's a, it's a simple message about um finding it's about luxuriating and finding pleasure in the everyday stuff, in the day-to-day stuff. It's about really kind of stopping and smelling the roses and taking time to really enjoy some of the day-to-day things in life and have kind of a full sensory experience. In a way, it kind of goes with this card in that it's about mindfulness. And when you do things mindfully, I kind of hate that word because I feel like it's, <laughs> it's used a lot. Um, <laughs> and like at yoga, like after class, the teacher's always like, when you leave the room, do so mindfully. And I'm always like, what does that even mean? Like, how do you leave a room mindfully <laughs> but when you when you bring mindfulness into certain things when you're just like fully present and you're like really paying attention things that are kind of seem mundane usually feel really amazing like like just eating like if you if you're eating a meal and you're like reading a magazine at the same time or you're looking at your phone or whatever um you're not even going to really notice the tastes and the flavors all that much. You're just going to be shoveling food into your mouth. But if you take the time to just totally be present while you're eating and just eat and, and let yourself taste what you're eating and notice the textures and, and really, you know, be present for it, it becomes this really nourishing, amazing experience. Like you'll actually, like your taste buds will become alive and it's a totally different experience than if you're kind of distracting yourself while you're eating. Anyways, let's move on to the next card. So the next card is for the end of the week. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is interesting. Um... Hmm. I the message I'm getting with this card is don't let the annoying people get you down this week. <laughs> so rise above it. So there's all these little branches here, these wands, and then there's this white wand that's floating above the rest. And it's almost like this wand is flying high above the others and going a different direction. Uh, He knows where he's going and he's not going to let these wands below stop him. (laughs) So I feel like the message here with the seven of wands is to revisit what your values and your goals are this week. What's important to you? Because I think when we kind of forget that, when we lose sight of that, we can easily be thrown off course. If we don't remind ourselves where we're going and what's important to us, it's easy for little things to throw you off course. And um, the message of the Seven of Wands is to to really be true to yourself this week. Go inward, get clear on on what is really important to you and what direction you're you're wanting things to go in. Um, It's also warning you about starting battles in your mind because many battles that we fight happen in our minds, not in real life. Um, And, you know, someone might say something to you or you read something that someone posts on social media and then your head kind of weaves this narrative, this story. And, um, and, And this is really, I think, about 
paying attention to your thoughts this week. And again, I'm coming back to uh, the, the first card, the Elder of Swords. And I said I would come back to him and talk about this theme of taking flight. <laughs> and again, I feel like this wand is taking flight. So what I'm getting here is this week, you want to rise above any drama, even your own mental drama, even rise above your own mental drama and your own tendency to maybe weave stories about things and to have arguments with people in your mind or to even like just totally misinterpret someone else's behavior and see it as proof that you're not good enough. Really um, rising above that this week and staying true to yourself, staying true to what your values are, but also taking the time to be present. That is really the secret I think that holds us all together is taking the time to slow down, taste the food that you eat, <laughs> um, and and you know appreciate some of those mundane day to day things in your life. So I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you're well. I hope you're staying healthy and safe and occupied with things. <laughs> And uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about tarot card reading, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I've got lots of fun exercises and tarot spreads and all kinds of fun stuff there. Um, so once again, I was using the Spacious Tarot for this reading. And if you want to add your own two cents to this reading, feel free to do so in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a really nice week.